I'm Heather with Busy Bee Boutiques and I just want to welcome you to our weekly tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you a fun holiday uh, Christmas ornament activity we we're going to be making. This is an example of what we are going to be making. I made this earlier just this practice. Um, I found this on Pinterest and um, they had some really cool examples uh, some made, uh, there was, well actually there was quite a few of them that made them with foam balls, but I'm going to be using um, just a plastic uh, little bulb here. You can get it at the, your local hobby store. Um, I just found that it was on sale, so, and I found that it's fairly easy to use, and it's already got a little hook thingy on there, so I didn't have to worry about, um, like, shoving that into the foam or anything, so, but, yeah, check out Pinterest, whichever is easier for you. This just seemed easier for me. So um, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to show you all the materials that we need to make this project. So if you want to take a look over here. So you're going to need an 11 by 11 cut uh, piece of batik fabric. And then you're going to need some wire. Um, this rubber band is just going to be temporary. It's just going to hold um, it onto the bulb um, temporarily until I can wire it. And then, uh, of course, some ribbon. And you need scissors for cutting the ribbon and then these cute little um, just kind of like florally arrangements in order to uh, glue that onto the bulb and of course you'll need a glue gun and I've been using these um, wire cutter trimmers um, to cut the wire so that's something that you'll probably need and um, just remember if you're using a glue gun to make sure that you're very careful and supervising your kids um, if they're helping you so um, let's go ahead and get started. So I'll need a piece of wire. So I think that's probably about good enough. So I'm going to cut that. Okay, move that out of the way. And so you'll want to, I'm going to move some of this stuff out of the way, just temporarily so you can get a good view. So um, just find the center and then you want to go and pull it up on each side. A little slippery fella here. But yeah, you want to pull it up on each side, and this is where the rubber band comes in because it will, oop, I don't want to lose my hook. So this is where the little rubber band comes in because it will help you hold it while you're doing gluing. Okay, plus you can kind of get the whole thing um, evenly placed so you don't have a bunch of you know folds that are kind of weird so yeah so the rubber band can it helps to kind of even the fabric out and pull it up straight it just holds everything really nice while you're getting everything adjusted all right so again the this is just a temporary thing oh yeah see how nice and snug that is just, you can do all these cute little folds where it's even on each side. Get just around that little lip here. Okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. That's kind of what's nice about crafts is you can make them as you unique as you want them to be. I just wanted to make sure that the folds, if when you're dealing with batiks, it's kind of nice to have it natural looking. So that's what I'm trying to, to do here. So I think that's pretty good. So I'm going to take my piece of wire that I cut and I'm going to wrap it around. And that's why that rubber band was really helpful. So I'm going to get it underneath the rubber band though. That's the trick. Okay, let's twist it, and twist it, and twist it, and I'm going to pull this rubber band off. That's what's going to go on underneath here. And keep twisting. That looks pretty good. I think I'm going to use my little wire cutters here and trim this extra off. There you go. Get that out of the way. So I've got a nice little start here. And there's my center. Just pull it up a little bit more so it's nice and tight. 
go. It looks pretty good. That's what I wanted, just like that. So I've got this nice, kind of evenly little, it's kind of poof ball on top. And then we're gonna go ahead and just get our ribbon. And let's see, measure about how much we need. So I'm gonna cover up this sharp piece. So I'm gonna just put a glob of glue there. I'm just gonna start there. And then we'll just wrap it around nice and snug. So, and then I think if I put another piece of glue here, then I can fold this over right here and then trim that with my scissors. Okay, and I think I just need just a tiny bit more glue here. Okay, put that right there. I want to lay down nice and flat. Okay. That's a good start so far. So the next thing I'm going to do is um, we have all these cute little decorations. So I'm going to maybe just put that across there. So let's go ahead and put some nice big old glob of glue. And just stick that. Careful not to touch it because I know that's hot. So I'm going to hold it there for a second. And then um, we've got this cute little bell. I'm gonna, there's like a little hole there on this little fake leaf. I'm gonna stick that right through the hole. And then I think just add a little glue. Maybe turn this on its side so it has something to grab onto. Plus I don't want it to fall out. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some more glue there. Hold that real still. That should fan out pretty well. All right, thank goodness for hot glue because that does wonders. So I've got this cute little gold kind of branch thing. I'm going to trim that off right down here because I want it to stick really well. And I think I'm going to stick it right there. This kind of gives a little bit more definition. Lots more glue because we want it to stick. So let's stick that right there. Okay, I think that's holding. And then we've got these cute little pine cones. I'm going to stick that in there. Put some glue right on there. Yeah, you can, uh, they've got all kinds of stuff at the hobby store, so you can totally decorate however you want. But it's really kind of a fun thing to do with your friends and your family, so it's just a fun time to be creative. And these beautiful batiks are just beautiful with the lights reflecting off of them, so um, it's kind of a fun little thing to do. Stick another little pine cone on here. Less, more is more, right? And I wonder if that would go good there. No, nope, maybe not there. Maybe through here. I think that's a good one. So I'm gonna. It's nice that they put these little wire thingies on here. So I'm gonna push it down, and then put another glob of glue on there. Just gonna push it right in there so it sticks right on the fabric. Okay, so isn't that cute so far? And then I've got this lovely little piece of ribbon already cut. I'm gonna trim the end off so it's kind of not too. I should, probably should do the same direction so it's all going in the same direction. There you go. That's cute. So maybe I should put it just like right there, or maybe there. No, I'll just put it right down there. I think that's kind of cute. 
doesn't have to be perfectly centered. Just however, you know, have what, whatever you feel like you, you like. And you could dress it up as much as you want. You could put and really embellish it with some bling, some little little gemstones or whatever. But um, yeah, I think that turned out pretty good. Just going to tuck that under so you can kind of really see that. Okay, and that's the, our little tutorial. We pull all these little stringy things off. Those come off really nice. Yeah, that's the um, that's our Christmas bowl. I'll show you the other one together so you can kind of see. Um, but yeah, didn't that turn out cute? So I'm gonna show you up here kind of how it looks. They're great um, Christmas craft ideas and that you can do with your friends and your family. Also, this is great to you can put this as a gift. Um, also. Or you could attach it to presents or whatever as just a fun little embellishment. Um, but yeah, if you like the tutorial, please like and share with your friends and your family and whomever. If you, they like to do crafts, it would be a great thing to, to, to check out. Um, and then also, um, if you have any suggestions, please comment in the comment section. Um, just let me know if you, there's something that you'd like to see in the future. Um, or if you have any ideas, I'd love to hear about them. Um, and then also on Thursdays, don't forget, we have our live shows. So I'd love to see you there. Um, yeah, enjoy your week and I'll see you then.